So I was conducting some more research into one of the military's most favorite activities, which is experimenting on soldiers, because, you know, they're probably going to die anyway, so why not you know, wring a little bit more use out of them? They're just men anyway. And I came across this uh, NPR article called Secret World War II Chemical Experiments Tested Troops by Race, in which they find that during secret experiments on U.S. soldiers in World War II, where they were testing the effects of mustard gas, I believe it was World War II, yep, they were testing the effects of mustard gas on the human body, they actually separated the troops that they tested it out on by race. I think they also do that with other medical testing too, because there are physiological differences between the races. But anyway, for some reason, the fact that they separated out, they had, they had a Puerto Rican group, a, a Japanese group, and a black group, and a white group, all being subject to muscular gas, for some reason, in this particular case, it makes this particularly egregious, to the point where, uh, I guess a black researcher says, I'm very angry, I'm very sad. I guess I shouldn't be shocked when you look at the syphilis studies and all the other terrible experiments that have taken place as it relates to African Americans and people of color. But I guess I'm still shocked that here we go again. Okay, Tuscany, fair enough. But this experiment done by the military on its soldiers was also done on white men. It was done on all men. And as far as I can tell, also the experiments where they had them march into the desert after dropping atomic bombs were also done on all men. So, and even adding the fact that this, these particular mustard exper gas experiments were divided by race doesn't even fucking make sense. We do that now with non, you know, non-horrific chemical warfare experiments. We do it with, like, things to do with modern medicine. Because again, the races have different physiologies, they have different chemical uh, compositions. You know, this not significantly different, but enough that if you if you create a drug that only works on white people, it might not work on black people. So it makes sense to have different groups of experimental subjects based on race. But apparently it's horrific if it's a mustard gas. It's not the fact that it's mustard gas. It's not the fact that you are dumping mustard gas or pumping mustard gas into the lungs of you know, boys and young men it's the fact that they segregated them by race and trying to to ring even more because that's the, you know like the fact that they so they, they targeted men not going to cause anybody to give a shit right so they have to make sure that there's a racial component otherwise we don't give a shit um it's, so, and, and, and here's where the, she's trying to generate even more outrage. Uh, white enlisted men were used as scientific control groups. Their reactions were used to establish what was normal, and then compared to the minority groups. I, uh, well, I'm sorry that, you know, choking to death on mustard gas, you know, in 30 seconds is established as normal, as opposed to whatever, did, you know, it did to black or Puerto Rican or... or Japanese soldiers because that's the real issue here that's the real issue is that the white soldiers establish the baseline normal reaction to mustard gas <laughs> and then she goes on to say that uh, uh, she goes on in this article it says in it she, she writes a journal she writes an article in it she suggests that the black and Puerto Rican troops were tested in search of an ideal chemical surge soldier if they were more resistant they could be used on the front lines while f white soldiers stayed back protected from the gas you know when any article says that an academic paper person who writes an academic paper suggests something in that academic paper they're essentially saying um her wild imaginings suggest that this is why they did this. And incidentally, if the Puerto Rican and black soldiers were found out to be less invulnerable to mustard gas, who do you think would be marching out in front? Because the point was to try to find the most invulnerable group to mustard gas. And, and once again, they, they throw out this, this fart 
this, this, this racial fart to ignore the big elephant in the living room. Why are you subjecting soldiers to these kinds of horrific experiments just because they're men? 